What is happening everyone and welcome to another video. Today we have started making a desk PC for my girlfriend. It should fit in nice and comfy with our current desk PC, so I hope you guys enjoy. Firstly, I wanted to start off with a few rendered images. There's my PC and my girlfriend's PC next to each other. Now this desk PC is going to be made just to suit her height, so for a couple of others, it might not be the right size for them, but for my girlfriend, I've built it designed around her body shape and her body height, so she fits nice and comfy in there. So firstly, we have to start off by cutting the bottom piece and the four sides. Right there, I have put down a piece of wood as a guide, just so we get a nice straight edge and we don't have to spend a lot of time on sanding and trying to get that edge perfect. Everything should just slot in nice and comfy. This desk is 1200 millimeters long by 600 millimeters wide, and that is the perfect size for my girlfriend. As you can see, we have cut the edges at a 45 degree angle and what I'm trying to do there is trying to get a nice clean look on the edges because this is MDF wood and MDF soaks up moisture fairly easy. I could have gone for a square edge and just sealed it with some MDF sealer or put a lot of prime on the edges but I like a nice clean look so I thought a 45 degree angle look will suit this build nicely. And there we have it, all the edges fit perfectly. I'm, I've still got to bulk the edges a bit, put a bit of putty in there, just to make it even nicer. And the motherboard tray will be sitting in there like so. So there is the main box done. Now, as you can see, the motherboard is actually higher than the box. We'll be cutting this down and we'll be making it fit nice and easy. I'm putting a fake elevated platform in there so I can hide all the cables for cable management, which is what you can see me filing here. We've just cut this piece out and we're just filing all of the loose bits of metal that are still on it and just trying to make it nice and smooth. Right here I have a nice polishing wheel which will just finish that edge off and just keep it nice and smooth. This metal sheet will be sitting approximately three centimeters from the bottom of the desk and that will allow for some nice cable management and cables to route underneath and into the back where the power supply will be sitting. I need to trim down that piece of wood to make it flush with the desk body and then I need to make another gap underneath for the cables to route through. I'll be putting in some rubber grommets for nice cable management and it should look nice and clean. Now it is time to cut our motherboard tray down to size. We grab our metal cutting Dremel disc and we proceed to cut. Let the Dremel disc do all the cutting for you. Don't put too much pressure on it and you'll get a nice clean cut and it should turn out the way you want it. Try and put some tape down before you cut because if the Dremel wheel slips, hopefully the tape can prevent any scratches on the areas which you don't want to be touched.
you it is all cut out. Now that it's cut out, proceed to file, try and make it all smooth and get rid of any of those bumps and imperfections and any loose bits of metal, just try and file them off. Now we're going along the edges with a polishing wheel just to make sure that it's nice and smooth and when you're running your finger along it, it should feel like you haven't even cut it. Now that that's finished, we can see that it fits in perfect. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We have some more videos coming for you very shortly. More updates. This build has to be done within the month, so we're going to be trying to get these videos out to you as soon as we can. Um, lots of updates, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did, and we'll see you next time.